Hey there! Welcome back to our exciting exploration of third generation sequencing technologies. If you remember, in our previous video, we took a deep dive into the world of smart sequencing. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out to learn all about this amazing method. Today, we're going to continue our adventure by looking at another key player in third generation sequencing, nanopore sequencing. Let's get started! In our previous discussion, we have understood the importance of sequencing technology in genomics research. This generation of sequencing technology has the advantages of longer read length, faster sequencing speed, and lower cost. In this series, then, we'll begin to take a deep look at another major approach to third generation tester technology, Oxford Nanopore Technologies, or ONT, sequencing. Nanopore sequencing is a high-throughput sequencing technology that allows for real-time, long-read sequencing of DNA or RNA molecules. It is based on the use of protein nanopores embedded in an electrically resistant membrane. When a DNA or RNA molecule passes through the nanopore, it causes a change in the ionic current across the membrane, which can be measured and used to determine the sequence of the nucleic acid. Most of the DNA sequencing methods require the target DNA to be amplified by PCR. However, nanopore sequencing method can sequence a single molecule of DNA or RNA without the need for PCR amplification. Here are the detailed steps involved in ONT sequencing. Sample preparation. First, the DNA or RNA molecules need to be extracted and purified from the sample. If the sample contains double-stranded DNA, it must be converted into single-stranded DNA. For RNA samples, the reverse transcription step to convert RNA into complementary DNA, or cDNA, is not needed. Library preparation. This typically involves a step called N-repair and adapter ligation. To enable the molecules to pass through the nanopores and be sequenced, specific adapters need to be ligated to their ends. Before ligation, the DNA or RNA molecule ends are repaired to create a uniform structure. The adapters, also called sequencing adapters, have a motor protein attached that helps control the speed at which the nucleic acid strand passes through the nanopore. The tether sequence acts as a flexible linker between the target nucleic acid molecule and the motor protein attached to the sequencing adapter ensuring smooth and controlled movement of the molecule through the nanopore. Loading the flow cell. The prepared library is then loaded onto a flow cell containing thousands of nanopores with the help of a motor protein, which is an enzyme that controls the movement of the nucleic acid molecule through the pore. The motor protein essentially unzips the DNA or RNA molecule one base at a time, allowing it to pass through the nanopore in a controlled manner. A nanopore is a tiny protein channel embedded in an electrically resistant membrane. This membrane separates two chambers filled with an electrolyte solution, which contains ions. The nanopore allows ions to flow from one chamber to the other, creating an ionic current. Each nanopore is connected to an individual electronic sensor that can measure the changes in ionic current as the nucleic acid molecules pass through the pores. Sequencing. This principle is based on the unique structure and properties of nanopores and the different chemical properties of the nucleotide bases. The raw electrical signal is generated when a nucleic acid strand, DNA or RNA, passes through a nanopore. As the DNA or RNA molecule moves through the nanopore, each nucleotide base temporarily occupies the pore, and the current is disrupted to produce a characteristic squiggle. The squiggle is then decoded using base calling algorithms to determine the DNA or RNA sequence in real time. Base calling. The raw electrical signals, or squiggles, generated during sequencing need to be translated into a nucleotide sequence, A, C, G, and T, or U. Base calling is the process of converting the raw signal into a sequence of nucleotides using specialized algorithms and machine learning models. 
Oxford Nanopore Technologies provides base calling software, such as Guppy, that utilizes neural networks trained on large datasets to identify and decode the distinct patterns associated with each nucleotide and their combinations. Data Analysis Once the nucleotide sequence has been determined, it can be aligned, assembled, and analyzed using various bioinformatics tools and pipelines. This may include tasks such as genome assembly, structural variant detection, transcriptome analysis, or metagenomic analysis, depending on the goals of the study. Overall, ONT sequencing offers several advantages, including long read lengths, real-time data generation, and the ability to sequence native DNA or RNA molecules without the need for amplification. However, it should be noted that ONT sequencing currently has a higher error rate compared to other high-throughput sequencing technologies, such as Illumina sequencing. Oxford Nanopore Technologies, or ONT sequencing, has a range of applications in clinical diagnosis due to its long read capabilities, real-time data generation, and portability. Some examples of ONT sequencing applications in clinical diagnosis include rapid pathogen detection and identification, antibiotic resistance profiling, cancer genomics and personalized medicine, HLA typing for transplantation, and prenatal and neonatal genetic testing. Several platforms are available in the market, each with its unique features and capabilities. Oxford Nanopore Technologies, or ONT platforms. Minion, a portable, pocket-sized sequencer suitable for field work and small-scale projects. Gridion, a benchtop sequencer designed for larger projects and higher throughput than Minion. Promethean, a high-throughput sequencer for large-scale projects and whole genome sequencing. Since both smart sequencing and ONT sequencing are third-generation sequencing technologies, what are the commonalities and differences between the two technologies? The commonalities are, first, both smart and nanopore sequencing technologies generate long reads, spanning tens of thousands of base pairs or more. Second, both technologies sequence individual DNA or RNA molecules without the need for amplification. Thirdly, both can generate data in real time, allowing for rapid analysis of target sequences, which can be particularly useful in time-sensitive applications, such as pathogen detection and outbreak monitoring. The differences are, for sequencing method, smart sequencing is based on monitoring the incorporation of fluorescently labeled nucleotides by DNA polymerase during the synthesis of a new DNA strand. Nanopore sequencing measures changes in the ionic current as the DNA or RNA molecule passes through a protein nanopore, inferring the nucleotide sequence based on these current changes. For read accuracy, smart sequencing generally has higher per base accuracy compared to nanopore sequencing. For direct RNA sequencing, Nanopore sequencing allows for direct RNA sequencing without reverse transcription into complementary DNA, or cDNA, whereas smart sequencing currently does not have this capability. For portability, ONT offers portable devices like the Minion. Smart sequencing platforms such as the PacBio SQL 2 are typically benchtop instruments and are not designed for portability. Although third-generation sequencing offers several advantages, such as long reads, de novo genome assembly, direct RNA sequencing, detection of DNA modifications, and real-time data generation, they still have some limitations and disadvantages compared to other sequencing technologies, such as lower per base accuracy. Third-generation sequencing technologies typically have a lower per-base accuracy compared to short-read sequencing platforms. However, this limitation can be mitigated by generating higher coverage or using consensus sequence generation from multiple reads of the same molecule. Higher costs. While third-generation sequencing costs have been decreasing, they can still be higher than short-read sequencing, particularly for large-scale projects. Computational requirements. The analysis of long read sequencing data can be computationally intensive, requiring specialized bioinformatics tools and expertise, 
as well as considerable computational resources for tasks such as genome assembly and error correction. Lower throughput. Some third-generation sequencing platforms may have lower throughput compared to short-read sequencing platforms, which can be a limitation for large-scale projects. However, newer platforms like PacBioSQL 2 and ONT Promethean are designed for higher throughput applications. In conclusion, third-generation sequencing has revolutionized genomics with its long-read capabilities and real-time data generation. As we refine these techniques, we unlock the potential of the genetic code and embrace the exciting discoveries awaiting us on this scientific journey. Thank you for watching.